Thank you for joining us. I'm Daniel Berlant with a fire situation report for September 26, 2016, coming to you from the Cal Fire Information Center. This weekend was a very busy weekend for firefighters across the state. In fact, there were several red flag warnings for high fire danger due to gusty winds up and down the state from Northern California through the North Bay and across the Southland. Those red flag warnings elevating the fire risk. There were 211 new wildfires last week alone. So definitely a very busy time despite it being the end of September. I'm going to switch right over to our statewide fire map where you can see some of the major fires burning right now in California. If I zoom back out just a little bit further, you'll see uh, right now there are just about a half a dozen large wildfires. The largest one or the most active fire right now is the sawmill fire. This is the fi a fire that started on the 25th just yesterday in Sonoma County and fanned by those very gusty winds already has charred 1500 acres. It is 20% contained. Now this is an area that was under the red flag warning conditions and one of the reasons why this fire was able to grow so quickly. Now there are some evacuations in place and so we'll talk about those in a minute. But I do want to switch over here now uh, to uh, a video we have from Fire Captain Amy Head from the fire line. Good afternoon from the sawmill fire where firefighters continue to make good progress on this fire but are faced with some challenges today where temperatures are going to soar into the hundreds, possible record breaking temperatures along with very low relative humidities and the steep, very steep rugged terrain that they are fighting this fire in, they have a long road ahead of them today. So as Amy mentioned, there is still a lot of concern today. While crews have definitely made some progress overnight, those hot temperatures again today will pose a challenge. Now I'm going to switch over to our map and we can zoom in just exactly where this fire is. It's burning about 10 miles east of the community of Cloverdale in uh, Sonoma County. Here you can see on the map, here is Geyserville. Here's Cloverdale itself. This is an area known as the Geysers. It's a very uh, active area where there are a lot of uh, 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 hydro uh, or a lot of uh, geysers uh, throughout this area. Here's Cobb Mountain. This is the area that was burned by the Valley Fire last year. Uh, but this is definitely a region that over history has seen a lot of fire activity. The, there is some evacuation still in effect. In fact, there's about 36 homes that are still evacuated along Geysers Road. That's kind of the southern tip of this fire. But again, as Amy mentioned, with the weather conditions again expected today to be, to be hot and dry, fire crews are definitely on high alert on this fire. Now another fire that uh, we've been talking about now for, uh, well, since July 22nd is the Soberanus fire. The U.S. Forest Service reports that this fire has burned now 127,478 acres. It is 78% contained. Now that acreage increase now makes it the 18th largest wildfire in California state history. So a very expensive fire, a very large fire, and a very damaging fire. There is an estimated containment right now of September 30th, but according to U.S. Forest Service officials, as they have been making progress, in fact, they now report 78% contained, it is likely that that date may get pushed back a bit. Again, the Sobranos fire, 127,478 acres. A couple other fires, uh, if we zoom back out uh, of the map down to Southern California, in Ventura County, we have seen, and uh, Santa Barbara County, I should say, we have seen just a rash of fire activity. In fact, that's where we find both the Canyon Fire and the Washington Fire. The Canyon Fire started uh, on the uh, Vandenberg Air Force Base. Here you can see the community of Lompoc. This fire burned 12,518 acres. It is estimated to be contained later today. Now just to the north of it was another fire also on the Air Force Base. Uh, that is the uh, fire that is called the Washington Fire. Over 200 acres burned there, but crews have definitely got a good line around that fire as well. So a lot of fire activity in Santa Barbara County on Vandenberg Air Force, but crews making very good progress uh, at this point. We'll zoom back out on the map and talk about a couple of the other active fires that are burning uh, statewide uh, here. Now, Southern California, we still have some high fire danger. We'll talk about what those conditions are in a bit. But going up to the eastern Sierra, that's where we find the Owens River fire. This is on the Inyo National Forest, uh, just, uh, just to the uh, east of Highway 395. In fact, here's Mammoth Lakes. Here's the popular June Lakes as well. Again, this fire, the Owen Rivers fire, nearly over 5,400 acres. It is 84% contained. Full containment is expected on Friday. As we continue to move up north, we'll go past 
the Tahoe region up into Modoc County, and that's where we find the soup complex. This is a series of fires that started on September 17th. Again, this is right on the outer or the southern, the southeastern edge of Modoc County. Here is Alturas, just for some reference. This fire has been burning east of Likely. It has burned 2,600 acres. It is 60% contained. Full containment on this fire is expected on Monday. Now, several other fires that burned this past week. As we zoom out here, you'll get to start to see those fires that are in gray up in Shasta County. The Cow Fire started in the Whitmore area. 100 acres burned up there. Down in Fresno County, scroll down just a little bit. Here we are. So this was near Sanger, uh, just south of Sanger, southeast of Sanger. 70 acres burned. This was called the Newmark Fire. It too is contained. Moving up just a little bit east of Sacramento over into Amador County. That's where we find the Bell Fire. 45 acres burned up there. Uh, several fires up kind of in the north part of the state. The first one we'll go into uh, is uh, in uh, the Grass Valley area fire we reported on uh, last week. That's the Auburn Fire. That fire was fully contained. A fire just south of Oroville near Bangor. 130 acres burned. 100% contained. And another fire that uh, crews were responding to uh, to assist was in Yuba City. This was the Butte fire that was a result of a military aircraft crash. That fire, too, is fully contained. So a lot of fire activities you can see from the map. So let's talk a little bit about our weather conditions and uh, exactly what that means uh, for our fire risk. Here is the today's weather temperatures. We are starting to heat up a little bit after we did have a cool down this time last week. In fact, look at the temperatures 97 in Fresno, 104 in San Diego. If we uh, jump ahead here to uh, later in the week, we'll get to uh, see if we can uh, get the map to go to later in the week. We are going to start to warm up a bit uh, in our temperatures. In fact, uh, by the end of the week, uh, we are going to see some warmer temperatures for sure. Now, our humidity is all, also in very uh, fire risk in the teens. Uh, this is 9% uh, in San Diego, 14% in Tahoe. So when we get conditions with humidity in the teens, that's definitely a concern for us as it makes it easier for a fire when it sparks to ignite the vegetation and to burn very quickly. The last component that it needs is the wind. Everywhere in green here is where we're seeing winds 20 to 30 miles an hour. You can see majority of the winds are down here in the southern region, down in southern California. In some of those areas, we could see winds 40 to 50 miles an hour like we have over the past uh, couple of days. In fact, yesterday we saw significant winds in southern California, even parts of the North Valley uh, and the North Bay uh, due to those uh, high fire danger risks. Now we still have a red flag warning that is in place in parts of uh, San Diego County. So if we look at this map here down in this area where the wind is, that's where that red flag warning is in place. That's for Ventura, Los Angeles, parts of San Bernardino, Riverside, down into Orange and down into San Diego County. That red flag warning expected to last through this afternoon. So it won't be there much longer, but we could still see some uh, tapering winds through the rest of the day. And that means our fire conditions will continue to be elevated in those areas. So what can you do? Well, first, you've got to make sure you're ready. Again, fires are still happening this time of year. So make sure you're ready. It's, it starts with knowing ready, set, and go. So you get ready and you hopefully you already have this. Have your 100 feet of defensible space. Those embers that are shooting down up to a mile, you want to make sure your home is ready for the fire. Your family has got to be set. Have an evacuation plan. Know what and how and who and when. Have that action plan ready to go. Have an emergency supply kit so that if you do have to evacuate, you are able to grab those items. But let's focus on if there is a fire in your area, evacuating quickly. So that starts with making sure you know your evacuation routes. Have a checklist. Know what you're going to take and where you're going to go. And as this says, when a fire happens, go. We need you to leave early, but you got to make sure you have an emergency supply kit that's in your vehicle. Cover up uh, if you are, if there's a wildfire nearby where you're leaving, make sure you cover up against the heat and even flying embers. Wear long pants if you have time, long sleeve shirts, um, heavy uh, even uh, boots, uh, a hat. All those items are going to help you uh, safely evacuate that area, but leaving early is the key. And if you have time, and that's the criticalness, if you have time, quickly locate your pets. That's why you want to do this stuff early on. But we know things happen. If you get trapped, here are some items and here are some tips on what you can do. First, if you're in your vehicle and the fire approaches, stay calm. That's the number one thing. 
park your vehicle in an area that's clear of any open vegetation. If that fire is going to pass, you want it to just pass right around you. So if you're in a cleared area, like a parking lot, that's going to be the key. You want to make sure you have all the vehicle windows and vents closed. Roll those windows up, but also make sure you change your air conditioning to have it on the circulate, which circulates inside the car. You don't want to be sucking in those hot embers or that temperature from the outside. So change the circulation to auto circulate. Next thing, if you are in your vehicle, lie down on the floor. You want to get away from the windows. Cover yourself if you have a blanket, especially a cotton or a wool blanket or even a jacket, just to radiate some of that heat. And if you are trapped, use your cell phone, call 911. Now, if you're on foot, you want to, again, go to a clear area of vegetation. You want to go be where somewhere where that fire can just pass right around you if you have to lie your face down and cover up your body now this is why firefighters train so heavily on using fire shelters but if you have no other option getting low to the ground covering your face is going to be the key and again use your cell phone to call 911 now if you're at home and you're trapped make sure everyone in your family stays calm that is critical call 911 let them know where you are uh, use some cold water fill the hot fill your bathtub or the sink so that you have water if you need it somewhere where you can refuge if there is a fire right along your home. Close the windows. Make sure you close the blinds. Again, you want that radiant heat to stay out. Now, if you have want more information on ways that you can ensure that you are prepared for a ready, set, go, and what comes to wildfire, visit our website, readyforwildfire.org. That's where you're going to get all the information on how to stay safe, but how to prepare ahead of time in case a wildfire occurs. That's the latest so far on the fires here in California. Another busy week possibly ahead. Please have a fire safe week.